You guys, this is one of those oh, and I'm definitely getting sunburned. Doesn't matter how much sunscreen I'm putting on these days. <laughs> this is just such a cool project. One of those lifetime projects, really. There's not too many opportunities we get to play around with rocks this big, especially in a residential setting, and then get carte blanche to do what we want to do with the waterfalls and everything else. So, Jack and I, last night went rock hunting, and didn't realize there was a light bar on top of that thing. Got in here, didn't just get stuck. We broke the tie rod, which then made the thing totally unaccessible. So now, Matt, our customer, is down here helping save his machine. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Good morning, everybody. Pond is totally full. Wow, it's about an inch below its desired height. We're still moving right along up the hill there. Just thought I'd get out here a little earlier this morning before that sun comes and creates a crazy glare. But we were at about 133,000 gallons of water. It is a 60 foot wide pond by 120 feet long. Eight to nine feet deep, 350 tons of stone in the pond. We'll probably use 600 total tons of stone when all finished. Jack and I worked a little later last night just working on setting up some frame rocks here for stairs. So we're not gonna actually do the stairs, but we knew if we got too far up the hill, it'd be impossible for them to come back in here and set these up right. So we've got a boulder that frames out, you know, this area in here, this cove, which again is just so cool, right? The swim kind of up area for these kids to come in here and play underneath these waterfalls. But uh, we've got these two frame rocks. There'll be two stairs here. You kind of twist this way. There'll be a little planting mason wall done here for some plants to grow out. Then two steps up this way. We're going to um, probably put another big boulder here and frame it out with this one to get more steps kind of coming up that way. But we're just going to keep climbing, 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 try to get a lot of this done, and then uh, hopefully start the excavation of the wetland filter today. You guys, this is one of those oh, and I'm definitely getting sunburned. doesn't matter how much sunscreen I'm putting on these days. <laughs> this is just such a cool project. One of those lifetime projects, really. There's not too many opportunities we get to play around with rocks this big, especially in a residential setting, and then get carte blanche to do what we want to do with the waterfalls and everything else. It's also an awesome experience to do with such a great friend, Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. You guys know him. You've seen his channel. If not, you make sure you check him out. He does incredible, incredible stuff, and we tend to do some pretty incredible stuff when we're together. Hey guys, hold on tight. We're going to keep creating some awesome stuff today, and I'll take you on that whole wetland journey. See you soon. Bye. So Jack and I last night went rock hunting and didn't realize there was a light bar on top of that thing. Got in here, didn't just get stuck. We broke the tie rod, which then made the thing totally unaccessible. So now Matt, our customer, is down here helping save his machine. We got down here and it's probably walked three, four miles back. Yeah, four right? miles. Down through this wash. And what really sucked is you had... <laughs> You couldn't even see this last night because it was so dark. So even if we got through all this, we definitely wouldn't have gotten through this. And as you go further down, it gets worse and worse and worse. We were looking for rocks like this. <laughs> break the tie rod we also popped that tire and I say we loosely because I wasn't driving yeah you want me to move that rock see every day. <laughs> Another beautiful morning in Yucaipa, California. It's our last morning. I've got my coffee. I'm lacing up the boots as we speak. I've got 
some inspiration. I've got my buddy Patrick Hanley, former artist of the year, all the way out from Australia. His shirt on. Make sure you check out his stuff. Underneath, I'm wearing Pondscapes AZ. A friend of mine out of Arizona, Ralph BZ. Make sure you go check out Ralph's channel over there. A little inspiration today because today is the last day we are out here and my body is killing me. That hill, climbing up and down that hill, grabbing each and every rock, one after another after another, is beating up the old knees and my body a little bit. So hopefully today I can push through. I know I can, right? Because I love it and we gotta get it done. We still have not gotten to the bog filter yet. So we will go up today. Hopefully I can convince Jack <laughs> to start digging that thing instead of keep moving up and up and up the hill. Hey, let's go recap everything we've done in six short days. I'll see you over at the pond as soon as I finish my coffee. So I'm standing down here by the pond. The very first place I stood seven days ago. Yeah, seven days ago. We came out here Saturday. There wasn't water totally filled up in the pond yet because we had to work on a sectional waterfall. So we started right in this area here. And if you can remember, that frame rock was set and that was it. So we just had that one. We came in, we started setting these, setting those, building the waterfall. waterfall is going to be amazing. I love this one. It's clearly going to be a cool little sheet coming off. That sloped rock, that, remember that water is going to come around it from both sides, all of it coming over here as we move up the hill and just look it. I'll just give you a quick pan. Oh my god, look how small Jack is. This one's got water spread all over it. It's coming off this side, it's coming off that side. It'll just be moving everywhere through here. We got another one up here. This one will be super interesting because the shape of that rock, but you can see the lowest part there. Kind of comes up on this side, up on this side, but with 55,000 gallons of water, it's gonna cover that whole thing. It'll drop in there, drop out, come over here, drop this way. You can see we got light chases running everywhere. Then we made some design changes. This was supposed to be our original wetland area. And as we cut into the hillside, it was just getting so steep. And so we would have had to dig a pretty massive hole. And then we came in through here. We cut out and kind of set some big boulders for stairs to intermix with. Lowered a patio section. Set in some 15 ton, 16 ton boulders. Got our big six and a half foot waterfall coming through here. Yeah. Move up a little further. Custom railroad tie bridge made by Jose. Set all of these boulders. Another 15, 16 ton boulder over here. Another one there. And then this waterfall. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Good morning. <laughs> I'm just doing some calculations for our wetland filter. And then last night we came in, started setting these waterfalls in through here. An enormous, enormous amount of work done in six days. We're out here on our seventh. Gonna get up there, do the bog filter today, I promise, because we have no other option. It has to go in. So soon we'll get up there, excavate, and start getting those aqua blocks and everything else in there. But look at this hill. The <laughs> Remember this morning when I talked about that hill that I'm climbing? Every day, up from there, up through here, all the way to the top, where those machines sit. Hopping up this ledge to the rock pile that sits all the way up there by Matt himself. Let me grab them from there and move them all the way down into here.
going to get that wetland filter excavated and put in today. And I think I'm going to be able to keep my promise. We've set a couple extra boulders along the side here. We got to do some soil work and stuff in here. I've got to come in and foam all of this stuff for this waterfall. Got a spot over here. But nonetheless, you can see two machines are excavating out for our wetland. So we roughly have a 15 by 16 foot hole. We're going approximately 40 inches deep. That'll give us a little bit of water on top of the wetland, about six inches of water on top of the wetland. And we're basing everything off the height of this stone. So there's a waterfall underneath here. We come back in, you can see the famous Luis over here, <laughs> kind of cutting in our weir. He's gonna cut that in. He's got that set about five inches lower than this. So water pools up a little bit. And then Jack's digging out this thing. And with that big giant bucket, we're making pretty quick work of the whole thing. So I've got my transit stick set 40 inches lower than this. Once it's all excavated down, we'll come in, we'll dig our troughs for our centipedes and our snorkels. Then we'll have to sneak in and uh, put some sand down. Axis is getting kinda tight up in there. Just a lot of soil and stuff. We'll dig our troughs through the sand, then fabric, then liner, then more fabric, then aqua blocks, then four to six inch cobbles, then two to three inch size gravel, then one inch gravel, and then we dust the top with a little pea gravel. Hopefully that makes sense. The other thing, I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at the grade change from here to there. That just means there's another giant waterfall that's gonna be coming in this way into the wetland before we do another wetland up there where Jack's dumping all the dirt. So that's all gonna happen in phase two. The goal today, and I know I'm long-winded, and those of you that say stop talking so much and just show the pictures, I apologize. But what that means is in phase three, we still have a lot of work to do building that waterfall. Oscar working on the wall. He's got it joined right in with this boulder here. He's gonna just kind of do this wall all the way back over into there. It'll set at about 21 inches high, which puts us about eight inches higher than our water level in this pool. Once this gets done, we can come back on phase two and then finish this pool up. But that's gonna look so cool. It's gonna look a lot like those walls way over there. guys so you can see our liner was in we put fabric liner then another row of fabric over the top and you can see our centipedes down in the trough they come over to our snorkels those will get some extensions at some point and uh, those are set just a little bit lower than the top of this so once we get those in we'll lock those centipedes in with some cobbles around them then bring our aqua blocks over the top then more cobbles then gravel 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 and there is a giant 16 by 15 foot wetland filter one of two and there's another one that's twice the size going up there on phase two. I've gotten most of this buttoned up. So while Jack was digging his hole, I got all my little bib liners in through here, finishing off some of the edging, did some stuff back over in here. I've got that waterfall all done and ready to go. Pieced this stuff together in here so that water not only will come over the top of this, but it should drop that way, then drop this way, and we'll get a lot coming this way. So heavier water on the edges, and then probably a good 4,000, 5,000 gallons of water just coming over per hour coming over the face of this stone which will look great i love this waterfall how it's just gonna like zigzag back and forth all over the place let's go check on oscar and his wall looking pretty incredible so it looks tall but the floor of this patio will come up you know another eight to ten inches in here and so they've got that all finished up in there they're doing another little one right here and then they're gonna maybe start working on some stairs busy busy day
That was an epic experience. I wouldn't have done it with anyone else. <laughs> well, you didn't have any choice, right? There was no well, one else here. To <laughs> so it's trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, right? 600 some tons of stone, even more with all the gravel and everything. Two weeks of work, just incredible what we've got done. I feel like I have gravel in my knee joint. <laughs> I do too. They hurt real I think, bad. I think my knees are gravel. We've been hiking up and down this mountain of a hill, strapping boulders, shoveling, like setting rocks, running machines, like just the hardest work you can imagine. I love every second of it. Yeah, it's unfortunate we don't get to see it run, but we'll be back here. Hey, you guys know what to do. Hit like, comment, tell us what your favorite part is. I think we're both standing in front of yeah, one of my here. favorites, the six foot high waterfall. We'll be back out here. Make sure you hit up Jack, Atlantis Water Gardens. He does some incredible 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 stuff give him some love go out check out his channel if you already haven't i know most of you guys watch both of us anyways yeah but. i see a lot of the same people that's pretty cool I, I guess it's all part of the same genre and we do work together quite often yep and uh, i love that everybody kind of likes experiencing both channels so it's pretty cool well we don't get to finish this one but in in about a week we're in michigan and we're going to tackle another one and so you guys yeah. stay tuned we'll show you another cool project totally different than this one and i can't wait to do it again all right man Thank you.